Okay. And this isn't your game. It's this one. So we'll do the chip one first. Okay. Um, how did you feel about the game? I mean, you know, for, I felt fine because uh, I I didn't like if I beat Chip, then I feel terrible. Um, although <laughs> I I was I was trying, you know. But yeah, I course. realized, you know, when I was listening to, I had a review with Sean Ray mm -hmm. yesterday, and uh, he he made it clear that I've been a little careless with my stones. I mean, he didn't look at this game, but I I realized that I um I. Well, and this, it's much worse than the other game, but there's a few times when I just didn't, I didn't read correctly. And, um, but, and, you know, in the whole, I mean, you know, Chip's a better player than I am. And I, I felt in a lot of ways, I, I held my own in this game. Yeah. Um, I mean, this game uh, was only by 11 points, right? 11.5. Right, right. And of course, I forget that there's Comey all the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's take a look from the beginning, and then Good. we'll uh, see what happens. Oh, and, oh. The other thing is the when when uh, Sean did. Well, no, I'll talk about that during uh, the other one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I have the other one ready too. Yeah. Um. So far, pretty normal stuff. <clears throat> so here, um, I here I deviated from what we usually do because. This way, I thought I wouldn't even have to break in. I would already be there. Mm, okay. So you can play this way. Uh, the computer says it's fine. I think it's like a negative 0 0.6. So it's not even marked as a mistake. But for productivity, right, like being the most productive you can be, I still feel like, um, you know, building while pressing mm. him mm. down is like mm. very useful, right? Mm. Because when if he plays the normal move, which most people do, yeah. you always have the shoulder hit later, which will always keep them pressed down. So um, I really enjoy when they answer with this because you've kind of built yourself up, and then later you can always use this. <clears throat> so I think, um, you know, the, the, yeah, so the thing about that, and this is what Sean said, that he doesn't like, he doesn't think that someone at my level should now attach at d17 mm -hmm. like he, he prefers the old-fashioned d18 mm -hmm. and if that's true then i might i could go i could go back to it because i just detest the attachment i mean first i mean not only because it's complicated but it just seems like when when i've done that then i've given him chip like an advantage because then he's building a wall toward his other stone. Now, I mm. guess in this case, he is two. Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're saying, so you're saying, uh, you know, it goes like this, 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 and this. He usually right. pushes here. Right. Um, so you're saying he's built the wall here, right? Yeah. yeah. But when we look to um, this shoulder hit is still here. Um, so let's say, like, I don't know. Let's say he plays over here or something. This shoulder yeah. hit is still here. Yes. Uh, if he plays, like, something like this, um, that's fine, too. We can just push, treat it like the San Rensei almost, right? Because if he plays like this again, this shoulder hit's always here. Um, you could even attach on the sides. Probably this one, because right. you don't want to be right. close to as well. You can even right. attach, uh, well, maybe because the stone's here, I wouldn't attach under, but... I, I understand what you're saying, um, but I, 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 yeah. I, I see, yeah, I mean, I see your point too. I yeah, I, I yeah. Think I, I, me and Sean have some differences in our teaching because <laughs> uh, he he solely goes by level, right? Like I hear a lot of um, his students tell me like. At my level, you know, I should be playing this, right? You know, yes, that, um, that's exactly right. He said that the whole time, like, yeah. For my review, he looks yeah. at you know he looks at it and says twelve Q okay, and then for the next group they were like eight or nine and he had totally different things to say, right? And he right. even has a, he even has a theory about like what you know what the mistakes of a particular level are, which I I take with a grain of salt, but 
this one thing I would so like not to be able to have to attach um, to the four four stone if I yeah. don't have to. Okay, but I'm right. I'm ready. I, I I see that this also has its virtues. The 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 this approach. Yeah, I mean, even if you don't want to attach here, you can play something like this if you want. It's a little yep. older school, um, yep. but you, it's very valid still. Um, and that you can aim for this um, shoulder hit later, right? So, okay. like, after everything's said and done, you can come back over here. Right, right, right. I mean, you might even, if you want to do it now, you can. Uh, but know that it opens up a pincer oh, here, yeah. and yeah. then you should yeah. play this, and then... It'll usually go. Well, there's a there's a few things you can do. You know, if you don't like um, if you don't like this, right, where you push, yeah. you can play this, and so you can just take the corner. That just seems like the worst variation. <laughs> I mean, I mean, because yeah, a yeah. you're putting up two stones, and b you're completely hemmed in. Yeah, that is true, and that's why I usually don't see it. But it does happen, and it is um, it is another move you could always play if you don't like this one. Right, right. Like in this case, because the stone is here, this would probably be the preferred move. Because if you play normally, um, you're already getting hit on the head of two stones. Yep, yep. But um, to finish, and it, you yes. know, um, I mean, to finish my my thought on it, yes. it if. You're trying to get to a higher level. Like oh, yeah. I oh, always yeah. want to teach you this, you know, the stuff that I'm playing at my level, right? Like right. I don't want right. to think about right. like. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, if what at one point you're gonna have to adjust and move this stone here, then it's probably best just to keep learning, you know. Yeah. Well, so what yeah. you know, <laughs> he said that after. Um, what's Pietro Paolo's first name? Uh, Joseph. So after Joseph messed up, mm -hmm. he goes, oh, yeah, people your rank, they have no idea how to play this. That's what that's what brought it up. Uh, <laughs> right, right. But I mean, you know, we're, we're all learning. So mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> the more you do it, I, I'm sure the more you'll learn from it. Right. Like, you know, right. you only have to mess up so many times before it sticks in your head. That's what I'm trying to get at. But right. anyway, well, you know, I, maybe I said to someone I, I read somewhere that um the that attachment brings into question whether the four four point is actually playable well i mean on your side uh you said that you don't like it as black right so you like this as white right uh no 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 i mean black it's 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 well do i like it on either one yeah, let, let, I, let, mean, I mean, of course, if I play a four four point, I have to be ready for it. No question about it. I don't mind it as I don't mind this as white. Okay. So then, yeah. So uh, you know, you said your question was like, should we even play the four four if um, it's going to keep happening? But if you like it as white, then yeah, play the four four. You know. True. Um, and if you don't like it as black, then you can just come right in the corner then, if you want to, because right. uh, the thing about the why the computer loves this so much is because these walls that they build after right like even if it's like um something like this these walls are really far apart and so you can kind of break this area up pretty easily at least computers can right um, right and uh but you know the more you practice it the more you'll get better at it right like so it's a it's just a, a new understanding that like whether we're looking here with like just jumping into the three three, or if we're looking at um, here with the the one that I know you're not very comfortable with, uh, the idea still remains that this wall is very far from this, and yes. if he has to play another move and this still isn't secure territory, then it's fine for black as well. That's right. that's what I want right. you to try and understand. Right. Okay. But um, yeah. I mean, uh, just play, have fun with it. I mean, if you want to play this again, that's fine too. Um, <laughs> so it's up to you. Right. But I'll right. always teach you everything, yeah. right? I'll and teach then, you. I'll teach you this. I, I'll teach you this. I'll teach you this. <laughs> I, I and I appreciate it. <laughs> no worries.
Um, but what I will say is, um, in both your games, this doesn't really pan out for you now. Same with um, this other one, right? You, you did the same thing here. Yes. Um, and I'll tell you why. And the reason is, it's just not productive. It's not as productive as, you know, it seems. Like, yes, this is white side. And you know that breaking up this side is good. But um, it's only doing one thing, right? Whereas when we play for an extension here, this is doing two things. It's helping you build a stronger true. area. That's true. And it's That's true. pampering white. So this is like doing two things at once. Um. So that's why I prefer these building extensions or just taking the corner outright. Because yes. after all is said and done and they finish what they're doing and they're trying to build, then I can try and ruin their other side, right? Or it'll become very similar to the San Rense, which we know how to break up the San Rense, right? right. Um, or at least we can always learn how, more about how to break it up. I know I taught it before, but... I, I, I know not what everything I teach you isn't memorized on the spot, right? You're not a computer, so. Right. But anyway. Um... Okay, I see. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I did work out okay in Chip's game. It was, it did definitely did not work out in uh, uh, the game with Joseph. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the thing. Well, we'll we'll keep talking about it. Okay. But it to me, okay. yeah, it just doesn't feel as productive. But okay. we'll move on for now. Um. So you ended up playing here, which is good. You're building off the wall you made, and you're attacking this. Um, so at this point, um, Chip should have defended here. Yeah. And when Chip doesn't, then this means there's a, a weakness mm. here. Do you know mm. about this technique? I mean, I know it's a theory. <laughs> <laughs> and this is in the um, Attack and Defense book. It's, yes. it, it's where I learned it, and uh, it's super super good right like um i just had a match with bonnie um the other day and because of this like it just destroyed the whole game um uh, just a very quick example of it yeah. so um i played here yeah she did not play the defensive move yeah. Yeah. and then as soon as i played here if she knew the strategy she should have played this Yes. Which essentially um, becomes something like this, where it's a wall, but it doesn't have a base. Or um, I you know, see. Black so, okay. something like this. Okay. And then if white blocks this way, then black can connect under. You know, there's many ways to go about it. But she ended up playing here, and then for the rest of the game, I just tore her groups apart, right? So this got torn apart, this got torn apart, oh, this got yeah, torn yeah. apart. And then uh, eventually a lot of things died like on all sides <laughs> okay. so my point is is uh when they give you an opening and they don't fix their weakness yeah. then it's good to attack right away and depending on how they play you'll have uh lots and of options I, I have i have i just i mean i have recently read that section of attack and defense yeah so if you get the opportunity to test it out please do and uh yeah. even if you fail it's good experience to try it right um if they jump you can poke and then you can jump out and they can't stop your connection right yeah um so if they keep try and stop your connection you'll be okay and so this becomes very devastating you can see if you like get this whole area mm -hmm. then this is going to mm -hmm. be a really big um area early in the game and then vice versa if like white saves this one then you could possibly take this whole area right so you can cut through or uh after the defense and you go like this and then white tries to save you can then continue attacking like these three yeah, stones yeah, yeah or you can keep attacking this to get stronger and then you can uh once white has to keep squirming away, then you can come back and attack this. But um, anyway, uh, so th this was a really big weakness that could have you should take advantage of. So this, I'm sure this Joseki happens all the time for you. Yes. Right? Yes. So yes. be very comfortable with crunching this group, and if they don't react, then you can uh, take advantage right away. If they connect on top, then you can just connect under, and that's not oh. a problem, right? And then yeah, yeah. if they uh, jump out, you can just severely attack them. But yeah, um, 
but instead you ended up playing here and so oh. let's talk about this in general now um at this point of time did you need to play this move like is well, this in danger no, no no i mean in fact the whole reason i played there was so it could come from one side or the other mm, but, right right but i didn't know i mean i looked at three moves well four to be honest i looked at I looked at like K17. I looked at the same thing below, so like K3 or whatever, something like there. And I looked at jumping out from, uh, so like to, yeah, there, so P12. And I I don't know, for whatever reason, that <laughs> one better to me. Okay. So yeah, when we look at... Um... B, you're looking at two, four, six, eight points. That's decent. C, two, four, six. When we look at D, we're looking at uh, three, six, nine, twelve. So we can see just by counting, like D, then B, then C in value, right? So all these moves have different values. Yes. Um, but this one only gives you four right okay. <laughs> so um this is how we when we when you're in the situation and you're looking at these different points um evaluate them by counting right okay. And, okay. and um not only counting but also think about pressure on like if you're putting pressure on your opponent so in this case this move not only is worth the most points but it also is putting pressure on this group because if white doesn't answer again, let's say white took this point, then you get this nice turn on white, which once again, I still would play here, but you could still get this nice turn on white, right? And so white's yes. getting less and less value for this little tiny area and you're getting yes. influence facing the outside. Yes. So um, these were good options to look at um but it's funny <laughs> but then you just chose this one right <laughs> so um it just i was i was pretty sure you know i know this is stupid i was pretty sure he would react to her because if anyway that's and all. he did he did yeah. that's another thing too um you when you're in this situation you can um push forward like this yeah look how that worked out in my other game <laughs> <laughs> well if he kicks you can uh get the ideal situation and yeah. if he jumps like this, we know this Joseki. Well, um, you speak for yourself. I went on top. <laughs> okay. All right. That's, I mean, that's, if you care more about the outside, then that matters too. Uh, but yeah, I remember in this, this other one. So we'll look at it. Okay. But this one is just very small, like points wise, situation wise, right? Like yes. Your yes. other ideas were much more better, and then you can count and see like what they're worth and yeah. how much pressure it puts on your opponent. Um, and so, Excellent. yeah. Excellent advice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, but for me, I always try and teach you the way of the warrior, right? So if we can put pressure or attack our opponent, then that's what I will, you know, I would usually advise to do, right? Um, this is a excellent attack on white, and it would like is white gonna make any points here? No. If anything, white still has to like try and make some survival move, right? Um, and yeah, white will live, but then with this stone uh, out here, you're kind of taking away like a lot of white's points. And I suppose if white played something like this and you really detested white making points, you could, I don't know, peep and like come out like this or something. And you can see it's much more harder for white to make points here. Yes. But, yes. For, but for me, I'd probably uh, defend some of this territory because it's quite a lot of territory. So, but anyway, um, so yeah, uh, the, in this case, remember this weakness because this yeah, joseki is yeah. going to happen a lot yep yeah, yep yeah. um so then at this point uh i'll ask you know all right do you think these stones are in any danger right now no 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 this was all about you know just eating away at chip i'm i'm sitting there going well where's chip gonna make points yes yes 
So this is a new style that you've kind of taken up. And I think it's because maybe we talked about um, Moyos a lot, right? The bread basket Moyo. Yes, um, and I and I love Moyos, Mike. <laughs> but uh, what I'm telling you is, uh, or what I'm noticing is, is that you're trying to break up the, these Moyos really early. And when you could be getting like more points uh, than your opponent. So the same thing happened in this game too. When yep, we look at yep. the game, uh, without going over every little detail, just like a real quick thing. Uh, in your case here, you have a small amount of territory, a very small amount of territory, a very small amount of territory. Dead, this died. Oh, yeah, very I small know. amount oh. of territory. Right? And, and, yes. so, and so when I see what's happening is, you keep doing these uh, small invasions. You're trying to break up his moyo solely so you're not building yourself and then you're uh losing right because you're not making enough points in this game too right like this this isn't making enough points and so in the end you lose by points right. um so this style that you're picking up um it might not be the right approach uh, maybe if you can make it into your own because uh, obviously some people can play very um territorial right like even myself i i like to do a mix of both um but we'll see i mean this is the first time i've seen you play this style but both times it hasn't panned out just yet yeah, so. no, that's, you know <laughs> yeah no no worries but uh to tell you uh this looks really really small and slow right we're only looking at four points yep. Yep. And you could have been making, you know, your eight yes. that you no, wanted. Yeah. Or you're, you're, you're right. The 12 or, you know, attacking. Um, so this the is... The only thing I'll say is at least it's consistent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so other moves you could have thought of was this larger extension. Once again, whenever somebody has like a 4-4 four, four stone, um, you know, we want to usually approach with knight move, right? And so um even here like because you have the stone now i would like this approach if you didn't have the stone here then uh yeah it, it'll get kicked right and then yeah. it's in a bad situation so if we take yeah. the stone away but when we have the stone there it's perfect right it's literally, literally in the right position right 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 and right. Admittedly, uh, I should know these Josekis a little better, um, admittedly, but I'll show you. So, um, you know, if this is the pretty much the position we were looking at here in yeah. both your games, right? Yeah. Um, so the most common move would for him to jump. And I'm actually shocked that uh, this is the only move they're showing right now before they used to be like i don't know something <laughs> but okay oh. anyway uh just know that you always have this option then right this under attachment yeah yeah and, yeah and we can go over it real quick if you're not feeling confident with it um there we go all right so under attachment uh white's gonna play this where do you think you should play as black uh well i guess i should i don't know pull back from three or should i wedge in between two and four no then he'll just take me well, that might be okay all right and this this is the correct answer by the way um so then yes white will take but then where should black play so then wedge in again so uh... yeah there this no, one, no. yeah, this one doesn't work because uh, black's dead, uh, 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 and then uh, uh. white gets to split you. Yeah. So instead, um, usually it's this one. Okay. And then here. Hmm. And then even if white cuts you, that's okay. Um, first of all, you can play this move. You could probably still even get away with this. Uh, this this becomes a little more complicated. Yeah. Um, but, but so it's a sacrifice of something. Yeah. Um, this wouldn't work because of a shortage of liberties. But 
even if you do have to sacrifice a little. Um, you ended up getting a ceiling move here. Yep. And you have uh, your group that was literally here to reduce, got to reduce pretty comfortably. Mm. And then you can come back over here or here or here and like start harassing this group. Um, but yeah, just understand that you can connect on top usually when it comes to the situation. Does that make sense? When you yeah, uh, connect I, under? That mistake I won't make again. Okay. And if they go like this, it's the it's the same exact thing. This one's even better for black because now this cut isn't as severe right. because this stone isn't here. And so you can uh, play something like this and then you can jump. And then if white probably wants to live. So anyway, um, yeah, you pretty much sacrifice a stone, but you use it, the sacrifice to the best you can. Does that make sense? Yes, totally. All right. Um, so we spent a lot of time on this, but these are all new concepts that uh, are really good to talk about. So let's see. So you played here, here, and this was all pretty good. Um, I think you were leading at this point. Even the computer was uh, was very happy with your large territory up here. Uh, and I was really happy. So Chip shouldn't have played this, by the way. Chip should have uh, flattened you out. Mm, mm, mm. And then uh, tried to build something in the center here. But anyway, um, so Chip played this. And then you played here. So was your intention to split these two apart? Absolutely. Okay, that's good. That's the way of the warrior. That's what I want to see. <laughs> so... You kept them apart, which was really good. Same with this move. This was really good. And then you backtracked, and that's when uh, I was sad. So your wow. what your goal was to keep these two split, right? Yes. And so as long as they're weak, then you're strong, and these stones are in a lot of trouble, and you're out, right? And so white can't make a lot of points here with you being out, and it's damp uh, dampering this one, right? Because you're hitting the head and so it's making this a lot less than what it could have been right, right. um I so see. I, see. I thought he was going to march into my territory which would be okay so if we look at it like this right white's gonna have to do something here um yeah. but let's say white does this and then you do this and white comes in i mean this is okay right because you have the advantage in this area right. but now you can start uh hammering down on his group um you can start you know i even, see just uh, surrounding I, him so that way he's gonna have trouble living um so yeah yeah you what you had was an instinct to cut these two apart but then you backtracked and then that's uh you know gave white some advantage uh, now I, here i see i see so you should have kept um splitting and pressuring it as much as possible and if yes. he comes in, then you just keep, then bring him in further and like just kill oh. all of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or if you ever need to, um, if he, you know, if he somehow lives uh, and makes two eyes, then you can still just play here. And this can only go so far. So. Anyway, but even when we look at, so if you get to keep this, right? He did get yes. to reduce your area, but yeah. you have all this thickness now on the outside. So what could have been white's area is now like um, tainted by black, right? So black's gotten in, gotten it out here. But in the other case, in the real game, uh, white got to seal you in. Yep. And then um, this was much better for white at this time. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, so White should have guarded here. So Chip should have um guarded his cutting point, mm -hmm. and so now this becomes a major weakness that you could uh capitalize on. Yeah, I thought about the clamp, but I didn't. Yep. I didn't see my way clear. Okay. So if he the, he has two op three options, right? He's got this, this, and this. If he plays here, you know you'll connect under. Right. Same with this. Yeah. 
And then if he plays here, you cut. And when he Atari's you, yes, he can kill your one stone, but you get to kill this. And so right. you've really, you yeah, can yeah, even, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can yeah. really okay. hamper this area. Yeah. Um, so I like that you had your instincts on the clamp because we've probably talked about this a lot. Um, when they don't finish their, uh, their defense here, right? We've yeah. talked about this defense yeah. in this one. Um, so when they don't finish the, it opens up the clamp and in this case it works very, very well, um, because you get to kill this. Yeah. Even if white plays this, well now you get to kill these, right? So really, really nice. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. so this one, you have two Ataris. Um, this was this was. I knew this was bad the minute I put the stone down. It was just awful. I get it. I get it. I I have those moves too. You know. Um, but yeah, you played here, which gave White more strength. Yeah. And you lost the liberty, yeah. and it became a thank you move, right? It became that move that we always totally. talk about. We don't want. Totally. Um. Yeah, I mean, that's what happened. And then you lost like a, a good amount of territory here. So instead, uh, what I always try and stress is if you have two different um, Ataris, make sure to read them both. And so uh, I would have played this, but the computer just says to play this outright. Because if white tries to block you, there's your uh, double oh, yeah, Atari yeah, anyway. Yeah. Ugh, ugh. But when I was looking at... These Ataris, I was like, if you Atari here and then get to Atari this, it's a push, 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 and then you, you're you're out, right? Like, you're just yep. out, and so then white yep. can't really make a lot of points here. Yeah. So this is what I thought would have been good, but the computer was like, no, just play this outright. You don't even need this Atari. Right. <laughs> so, uh, and then I think white played this, and then you can just play here. Yeah. And so you get like pretty much everything anyway. Yeah. So yeah, that, uh, was a, that was a grave disappointment to myself. <laughs> no worries. Um, but uh, yeah, so what I would say always, and I think this happens in the next game too, where <laughs> you had two Ataris, but then you <laughs> chose the wrong one. So yeah. always read both Ataris before you choose any, you know, either of them. I mean, Chip and I played it like 1030 in the morning and, uh, Joseph and I played at eight, eight o'clock at night, so my missing it in Joseph's game is understandable. This is not oh, okay. I, I I didn't know if um you were saying you're a groggy in the morning and like a no 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 night. no oh no no yeah, I'm, yeah. A, the yeah, I'm a I'm a morning person. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so this was fine. Uh, this was fine. This was a little slow. So right now, uh, your stones are perfectly healthy. And this is the main area. This is the breadbasket, right? This is where the Moyo is forming. Right, right. So the, this needed to be broken up. With a, Any move out here would have uh, helped limit White's area here. So if White has to, like, guard himself, right, to keep his points, yeah. then you get this nice move here, which is, re you know, really nice, obviously. Right, right. And then uh, if you play here and White separates you well now you can you can start really trying to fish these guys out yeah and white's gonna have to uh play a lot of moves that it, white doesn't want to to keep them in right yeah i had looked at you know i thought and i rejected this the um the golden turn at at k14 but then that looked like a thank you move because he would just you know make the tiger's mouth um yeah, but you know this is still really good um, because there's lots of um, I wouldn't I wouldn't actually do this, but there's lots of um, uh, problems here, right? So, but as you can see, white is still gaining quite a lot of territory. Yeah. 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 Whereas um, just playing something that breaks it immediately is better, right? Okay. And so this is what the Saturday class was about: was breaking the the bread baskets. Um, which is in style of what you've been doing, <laughs> right? So, right. Uh, right. But, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I still, I, I still, I, I mean, I know this is something I, I'd love to try is, you know, just play what looks like a stone in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, like something like this, right? Well, worse, uh, you know, I mean, what you, oh, you think that's in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so remember uh when you're trying to break up an area you always want to look for like places you can put pressure and stuff too yeah. or you want to play on the sector line or vector line i don't know what people call it uh i've heard it as both to be honest but so you can see that um this is a little far away from the moya line right right you can play on this line and if he tries to counterattack you, you should be able to uh, make some moves to get away, either attachments or running away or poking at weaknesses, right? Yeah. Um, maybe not that one, but even uh, coming back now to like try and threaten to take these guys out. Um, but yeah, uh, so this one's a little too out there i think yeah. uh so instead like if you poked white would definitely have to answer here right because if white answers yeah. anywhere else yeah. 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 you're good so uh this is a really nice reduction move that puts pressure on white and then you can jump and it, you sacrifice this to, to break this area up yeah. i see i do see when you do pokes and peeps like this you don't always have to expect these to live they're just moves to help you uh use them as sacrifices to get a better position. So, uh, as Sean would say, then it's, it's not your level, right? <laughs> these aren't, these aren't your level moves, but I'm always going to show you the next level moves, right? Cause I want you to get here. Um, but okay. We've spent a lot of time. Yeah. Okay. Spent a okay. lot of time on this one. There are plenty of other things I could show you. So, oh, this was it. So, this is the two Ataris you have here, right? Yeah. And so it might not have been the other game. It might just be this one again. But um, you atari this move, which then he just got stronger and you yeah, lost the yeah. liberty and made an empty yeah, triangle. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So this is a thank you move again. Uh, instead of ataring here, I would have read this one, right? And mm. this is good because you can break mm. into his area. Yeah. And then an even higher level of this is just to play here now. Because if white has to play this, well, now you can Atari and then you get the kill. Oh, yes. So, oh, um, yes. and if white has to play this, well, now you've, you've gotten in anyway, right? So this is like really, really nice reduction. It's a good, good, like nine point reduction here, if not more. Yep. Um, so whenever you have Ataris, make sure to read both of them. Because uh, if you read this one, I think you would have been able to find this kind of easy, right? Like it's yep. a one, yep. two, three read. Yep. So um, please remember to uh, read both Ataris. Whenever you feel like you're going to Atari, read both of them. Because there's usually two directions that you can Atari yep. in. Yep. <laughs> It's a good habit to get into. I know it sounds silly, but like, oh, I mean, it's just it's just my my own incapacity. I don't know. Sometimes I look at it and I don't. I mean, I know they're there, but I don't actually see them. Hmm. You know, one of them just looks like, oh yeah, that's the way to go, even though it's not. Yeah, we have our our general instincts, right? We have our bad habits, you know, and we get this because we play a lot of games right and uh, and don't get them reviewed but of course you are getting your games reviewed which is great um but we all have bad habits i don't care what level you are you know people have bad habits and so that's why we're here to break them by uh studying our games this was bad <laughs> uh this would have been better right this would have been worth a few yeah, points and yeah. taken away from white yeah i you um, know i i did that not thinking not knowing I could get away, but I thought, you know, I would just try it. Look like it, you know. I, I, I mean, he has to respond to that. Mm -hmm. that true, that's all. but uh, <laughs> true, but um, if he his response makes you lose points, it's bad, right? right. Um, but I, but I understand. So at this point, I mean, I think you guys were still fairly even. Like it was a small, very small win for black right now right so yeah, it says yeah. you're in the lead 
So a lot yeah. of it you lost in the end game, and the end game yeah. is like your fine is is like very fine points, right? Like it's um, I don't know how to say it, but uh, it you have to be very small and particular about like your moves in the last moves, right? And you usually yeah. have the least amount of time, especially if you're in Biomi. Yeah. Um, and I'll admit that my speciality is not the end game. That's why when we review, a lot of times I don't even get here to the end but in these close games i do like because you were really close um and so like you know you played here but you didn't have to right because you can't get killed here so instead you should play something uh just more right like more better yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Uh, i know you need to play here now if you went with this choice because if you didn't and then you know well, I guess you don't have to, right? But like, if you played somewhere else and White played here, then you would get killed. But I'm sure you would see that. But oh, um, don't. <laughs> but yeah, just some small choices led you to lose yes. in the end, which yep. means yep. you did yep. good enough to in the middle game, right? And in the the beginning to to get it yeah. so close yeah. with uh, somebody who's the uh, you know high a much higher rank than you. Yeah. So it was really well done. Um but yeah, some of the end game choices you made just kinda brought you back and from, uh, you fell apart and then that, that was the end of it. But nothing major died. It was just like small itty bitty things here and there, right? Right. Like um as you said, this clamp was uh really, really it would have this would have won you the game. This is like the eleven points right here pretty yep. much. Yep. <laughs> but um all right, yeah, we'll we'll move on, and uh, okay. I mean, I'll do the recap, so it, it, this will be a lot faster. Um, so you can keep playing this way if you want to keep trying it out, um, yeah. but I will tell. I still believe that like these and these would be much more productive, as you can see. Yeah. This builds and yep. flattens, yep. yep, and then this takes away a, a full corner. Yeah. And then even if um, White tries to build this, like, you can break it up, you know, kind of easy. Not easy, but the computers make it look easy. That's what I will yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> right? But you still have, like, you know, trying this will get you to learn, right? But having right. a nice corner is nice. Um, so either one of these I'd much prefer than the, the large split here. Yeah. Um... This is a good crunch to know because this yeah. Joseki is going to happen all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So remember that there's a huge weakness here. And yeah. apparently a lot of people at your level, you know, uh, will miss the the defense. And then you can take full advantage of that. So if you just want points, you can just take points, which is quite a lot. Or you can uh, attack this and then take away his base. And then he's going to have to spend a lot of time like trying to make sure he lives. And you can build points while he does so. Make sense? Yep. Um, so either or, uh, either option is really nice here. And this is slow. I get it. Yeah, this is a... It, I would wouldn't even really play with this stone for now like i'd play the bigger moves first yeah. as you said like this and this yeah. yeah um are larger um and if you did want to play it um i would definitely like do the three space extension and even if he cuts through you know this you could try so many things um i forget i really shouldn't remember this but this is so such an old joseki i really don't <laughs> Um, but even this one is like, I guess the, the Joseki button preferred, right? So <laughs> it's, it's very simple for me. So, uh, uh, you haven't used it enough yet to get it, but once you start using it, it, it makes sense. Right. 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 Um, so yeah, I wonder this, so uh, there's a lot of potential, um, with something like this. Because you, know, you can try and take the the corner away, you know. Yes. Because um, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think. Um, 
I think you'd be okay, is what I'm trying to get at here. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> um, let me see. Yeah, I mean, this would be alive, right? Yes. And taking a full corner while having some stones on the outside isn't too bad of a result. Especially with this wall being facing the stone, you know. Yep. All right, I'm going deep in. This is supposed to be a quick review. So, <laughs> um, once again, this is a little small, so just reaching out a little more would be nice. Yeah. Uh, the reason is is because this group is probably going to live. Alive, so it wouldn't be a tragedy. Yeah. Yeah, and so like playing a bigger move or like extending just a little more is fine, especially if he kicks you because you're in the perfect spot. Um. Do, do, great plan on splitting these up because these stones are actually pretty weak and this group becomes smaller and weaker as you push on it just like this yes. so if you continue to push on it then this group becomes a lot weaker and then this group becomes a lot weaker too right. so you had a good plan at first of splitting them but then you came back yeah. um which is okay but you can see that it helped no, white it would have been, i yeah i see it would have been much better to have persisted yeah it, it helps white stay like connected and build influence in the middle which is bad for you uh when they don't finish their defense when they don't finish with this or this mm -hmm. there's a major weakness here and here so uh, i would read both uh this cut or this uh, um clamp and you don't have to play it right away. These are end game moves, right. but they're definitely devastating. Um, and if you want, you can play them right away because I'm pretty sure you'd react, right? And so that's a, oh, yeah. a very easy reduction. Yeah. Very, very easy reduction. This is very small. So. Um, twi yeah, twice in this game, you just. Um, chose the wrong atari so mm -hmm. make sure to always read both of them or in this particular case hit the head of two stones and that's all you needed to do because it's already super weak yeah <laughs> um this was a little slow so like our bread basket lecture um white has built up quite a big area and so you don't want white to finish it and so playing a even just the light stone like this you can see really hurts the area and is building your own area quite a bit. Now this now this turn looks awesome. Right? Now yes. this thousand dollar turn that yeah. we were talking yeah. about. Yeah. And that was mainly it. I mean there was this one where it was just a little too light. You could have gone yeah. further. Yeah, yeah. Uh and then uh for general tips, like not just this one board, but General tips, uh, when we look for reducing our friend's bedroom, you know, our opponent's area, yeah. Yeah. then we want to look for weaknesses that we can um, harp on, right? We yeah. can poke at this, and we know he has to respond, and then we can jump out. And yeah. even though the stone gets killed, we can use it as a really nice sacrifice. Yeah. And so this would be uh, excellent for black and bad for white. And then same here. So finding weaknesses that we can exploit are always nice. Uh, that was mainly it. There was a few endgame mistakes, but I'll uh we'll move on. We'll